Hey guys, welcome back to Ant Invasion. Today I'll be talking to you about the genus Polyrachis. Different species within Polyrachis can range in size, colour and shape. The genus Polyrachis can be found pretty much all in Asia, parts of Africa, and all of Australia. The genus Polyrachis tend to create nests in open forest, woodland, and parks. They generally make their entrances pretty noticeable. And just like Campanotis, they usually have one worker at the entrance of the nest. This guard gives access to a returning worker to the nest. Although Polyrachis are so robust, they are very shy and will retreat back to the nest if disturbed. At one time, there can be many workers out foraging for food. This provides the nest and the queen with a constant source of food as there are many workers out looking for it. As food is found, these ants use their pheromones to attract other ants to collect food. The Polyrachis diet is highly varied. They collect nectar and consume both plant and animal life. This particular species of Polyrachis is Polyrachis vermiculosa. They are very common within Australia and are also known as the footpath spiny ant. They get this name because of the spines on the back of their thorax. I have discovered that Polyrachis is actually polygynous, meaning that they can have multiple queens within a colony. This particular colony actually consists of over eight queens. Now, I bought this colony and I converted this into my current formicarium, which I made a video on how to make it, which is in the top right hand corner in the little eye if you press that now. And so currently they're pretty stressed because just because of the new move. And so some queens are out in the outworld exploring, which isn't usually very natural. So hopefully things calm down.
This formicarium has a layer of petroleum jelly at the top, which the ants for some reason can walk straight over, but usually they hesitate. And then that's just an extra protection for when I feed them. It's very cool to watch these colonies work as a team. This is very evident when two Polyrhachis colonies intervene. I see a lot that one ant is usually being torn apart by two others. Polyrachis are so powerful and strong, it is unbelievable. Polyrachis don't sting, but instead, they spray formic acid. Often, the polyrachis collect honeydew from leafhoppers. The ant itself is actually black, but it has heaps of short, dense hairs that give it a metallic look. If you enjoyed this video and you think I should turn it into a series, say so in the comments down below. Considering this channel is so young and it's only four months old, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. I mean, we are already on 500 subscribers. I never thought that a channel run by a kid about ants could get this many subs, so thank you guys so much for that. I remember in my first video I was saying how we would reach many milestones along the way and so yeah this is definitely one of those milestones 500 subscribers I just want to thank you guys so much for that Anyway, all jokes aside guys, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. My next goal is to somehow try and reach 1,000 subscribers. So if we can do that, I will be so amazed and I might do another giveaway. So thank you guys so much.